A massive company hired me to paint two murals in their offices. Two, count them, two back-to-back -back murals. So I designed some concept art and packed my bags for my journey to a secret location somewhere outside Seattle. Painting two back-to-back -back murals for a Fortune 500 company is a major gig. I knew I needed to bring a few things. Camera, headphones, brushes, projector, iPad, laptop, assistant Nick. I arrived at the offices and they were pretty sweet. We are here. We are going to be painting a couple of super epic murals. Although I can't show you much of the offices because this giant company has asked to remain nameless and be censored in these videos. In a previous video, I've already shown you my entire process of painting the smaller of the two walls. But now we're going to jump back in seven days into my epic art adventure as I start the second and the bigger of the two murals. Wish me luck. Let me introduce you to this beautiful dark gray wall right here in the lobby area. I actually love this background color of gray, so I'm gonna be using it as part of the mural. Nick is taping, prepping the big wall for us to slap another coat of paint on here after they repaired it. Taping, baby. So yeah, let's paint this wall. We repainted the wall the same color that was already there because the previous wall hadn't been painted for a while and the paint might have been a bit faded. So to avoid color matching issues, we just painted the whole thing again. It's moments like these where I think to myself that I wish I had a running tally of every time I've painted a wall just a solid flat color. At this point in my art career, it's gotta be getting up there. So I'm still working on the mural out there, but in the meantime, Nick is gonna be working on getting the lines traced up there. Welcome back to Nick Traces Stuff, everybody's favorite program, where Nick Traces Stuff. Thankfully in this lobby area, we had a bit more distance from the wall, so we could use our projector we brought to trace the first chunk of the mural. Nick is attempting to line up the drawing with the projection. This mural is like maybe 12 different flat colors doing much more of a graphic style. So I'm gonna mix up a color and Nick is just gonna kind of flat fill all those areas while I finish up the other mural. Multitasking for sure. I'm sure he's doing something crazy back there as he likes to do in the background of scenes. Oh, don't kick the wall. First, let's lay down a little bit more carpet protection. Trying to set up a reference station here. We stole this monitor from around the office. So this is our roadmap here. This whole image, which is the correct coloring, turn each individual color of gray into a wildly different color of the rainbow. So like the very lightest gray is red. And then, you know, as you start getting into like dark grays, you move into blues and stuff like that. And that way we can more easily identify which thing is which color. Cause it's like basically the same 12 colors over and over again. We're just gonna do it like you would screen print a t-shirt like flat colors and then finish it with black lines and hopefully this mural will go a little quicker than the last mural even though it's bigger hopefully here do we go huge shout out to nick who's progressed so far as a mural assistant at this point he's been on several mural trips with me and i'd say he's getting the hang of things it still feels weird to have people do these steps for me but it let me finish the other mural and have great time management on this project. Okay, gang, day eight. Nick, how you feeling? The second mural, I think this one's gonna go faster. Hopefully, as your mural assistant, I don't disappoint you. <laughs> Just finished the mural that's about 20 feet that way, which means I can start on this big one here, which Nick has already been doing a bit of work on. Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Got one more week to be here. This is like the longest mural sesh I've done in a long time. Two weeks straight out here in Washington State. I'm excited to be done with the first one, working on the second one. Whew. That's a lot of mural in. This is the security guard that they got us for the weekend so we can work in here. He's just been working really hard, protecting us, making sure nothing goes down. I'm here for the vibes. All right, so you know me, I'm gonna turn anybody and everybody into my mural assistant. So security's gonna help paint too. <laughs> Don't tell my boss. That's what I'm talking about. That looks good, you're off and running. Meanwhile, I am going to do Lighter warm gray, I suppose. Mix up some warm gray in there. Yippee ki yay. It's pretty rare to see me paint in grayscale. For the light grays, I mixed black, white, and yellow to create a warm gray. Now this is a reference monitor. Yeah. And for the darker grays, I mixed black, white, and blue create cooler grays. 
This let me create a bit more separation between all the grays in this mural. This mural concept is absolutely jam-packed with characters. And with the limited color scheme, I was super happy that we took the time to create that alternate color roadmap so we could easily identify which gray went in which section. I was constantly referring back to that alternate rainbow color map. We went home that day, both of us feeling pretty tired of painting just flat gray for so long. But I knew the following day we got to start on the pops of color. We got a beautiful salmon. We got a chartreuse green. We have a jade tealish color. And those colors are going to bring a bit of life and vivaciousness to this limited color scheme mural. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to Nick's Mural Assistant Confessionals. We are currently on day nine. I've painted a lot more on this mural than any other mural, which is fun. I like get the paintbrush and I'm like, just like right up on the wall, like oh my God. just making sure my lines are perfect. They have snacks here. I like that. Been able to snack a lot. What else? I've been wearing the same jeans and same flannel for 10 days now. You know, I've really been carrying this team. You know, Peter's great at making the designs, but I'm really his ghost painter. You know, I don't want all the credit or uh, all the accolades, you know, I let Peter have that. You know, for me personally, it's it's just really about the art. You know, I think if I can just really lock in to just making the painting great, I think at the end of this, you know, we'll come out the other side. Peter will be more popular. I'll just be sitting in the shadows. <laughs> Reaching for the first bit of color on this mural felt really good. It felt like reaching a milestone. It was time to breathe a little life into this mural. With the power of color. I put a lot of thought into every color in my art. Every hue is like a character in the story I'm trying to tell. Each color is selected to provide balance and harmony, whether it's a limited color palette or a piece bursting with color. This wall is the first thing you see when you walk into this lobby. And it was previously a pretty dimly lit hallway. I hope I can bring something super bold and graphic and eye-catching right when you enter these offices. With the flat colors done, it was time for shading. I used all the same colors I had been using the whole time to accentuate the art with shadows and highlights and trying to push a minimum amount of colors to their maximum potential. Okay, huge moment for this mural. I think I've pretty much done all the fill colors, which means I can grab my big bag of paint markers I brought with me and start doing the black line art to finalize this baby. Very exciting moment. I'm glad I did that test where I found out what the best paint markers are, because you better believe I'm gonna be using them. All right, let's start doing the black lines. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is a really cool website where you can build a really cool website. Shoot, it's where I built my website. They have these amazing templates and all you gotta do is drop your awesome content into their beautiful templates and boom, you got a website. If you've got a product to sell, their e-commerce makes it super easy. The mural finish line is in sight. I think today is the last day. Their websites work on desktop, mobile, tablet. You can even use them to book and schedule appointments, mailing lists, SEO, like legit everything you'd want your website to do. They have 24 seven customer support. So what are you waiting for? It's time for you to have a beautiful website. Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 100 for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. And with the black line art complete, the mural was done. The final step of peeling off the tape 
is always so satisfying. Dude, look at that surgical tape line. Who taped this? Was that you? Yes, that's what happens when ADHD helps you instead of hurts you. Oh, I appreciate that. It's your superpower. Dude, there's something so satisfying about taping something. I don't know what it Real is. Real Wally Pepper. What if I were to try to do a Wall Peppers bit for this video? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo. The gauntlet has concluded. I think I am done, and I'm just about to show you guys the final sexy shots of the finished mural, but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Huge shout out to this unnamed company that invited me into their office space and said, hey, 1000, we want your art in our space because we think you're sick, and I think that company is sick for saying that to me, and everything is sick. So shout out. I'm super hyped on how the mural turned out. It's a very unique style for me, but in the end, I think it looks super dope. So I think it's time to show you the final sexy